Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about digital elevation model in GIS and remote sensing. Now let us start. What is digital elevation model? A digital elevation model is a representation of the bare ground topographic surface of the earth excluding trees, buildings and any other surface object. Dams are created from a variety of sources. USGS dams used to be derived from topographic maps. Basically, dams are raster files with elevation data for its raster cells. Dams are popular for calculations, manipulations and further analysis of an area and more specifically based on the elevation. Digital elevation model is the digital representation of the land surface elevation with reference to any reference datum. The main thing to remember is that digital elevation model is represented with reference to any with any reference and such reference may be one of the main reference may be mean sea level. Dim is the simplest form of digital representation of topography. Yes, it is the digital representation of topography. Dims are used to determine terrain attributes such as elevation at any point, slope and aspect. Dims are widely used in hydrologic and geologic analysis, hazard monitoring, natural resources exploration, agricultural management and many more. These are the uses. Here are some other uses of DAM digital elevation model. They are extracting terrain parameters, creation of relief maps, modeling of wa water flow or mass movement, example landslide, avalanches, etc., rectification of aerial photography or satellite imagery, surface analysis, satellite navigation, for example, GPS and GLONASS terrain correction, geographic information system GIS, modeling soil witness and cartographic depth of water indices, DTW index, base mapping, archaeology. These are the some of the uses of digital elevation model. And the digital elevation model is divided into raster and vector. Raster are source dim which consists of grid of square swing elevation. Here, grid, they are secondary computed them. In raster, they are represented as grid of square. And each grid represent elevation data. Vector, they are also known as triangular irregular network team and they are primary or major dim. Here are the types of dim. First one is gridded digital elevation model that is it means it is also known as raster dim and teen is vector dim and another one is contour. Gridded digital elevation model Z dim. It consists of regularly pressed uniformly Uniform grid with elevation information of this grid. Its grid contain this is grid contain information of elevation data. This is grid contain elevation data. Tin triangular irregular network. It is a robust way of storing the spatially varying information. It uses irregular sampling points connecting through non-overlapping triangles. The vertices of the triangle, the main thing is vertices of triangles match with the surface elevation of the sampling point and the triangle facets means faces represent the planes connecting the points. And the third one is contour. It represents points having equal heights or elevations with 
respect to a particular datum such as means level. In the contour-based structure, the contour lines are traced through the topographic maps and are stored with location x, y and elevation information. All the points having equal elevation are used to make contour lines. Thank you.